हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क लिनक्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस इनफैक्ट आई यूजुअली आस्क दिस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस टू पीपल बट आई एम रियली सरप्राइज दैट पीपल डू नॉट नो इवन दिस बेसिक थिंग्स इवन दोज पीपल हु हैव मैंशन द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स ऑन टू द रेज्यूमे they are saying that they are working in knock profile or they are working as like you know tech ops into tech ops but the people are not able to answer these sort of questions so i thought of creating a particular series of these questions because these are very very common and uh, very frequently asked questions so i thought of sharing this piece of information with each one of you who are willing to prepare for the interview so guys if i have to answer the particular questions i'm going to re- read this question one by one and obviously if it is required to show in practical manner for sure i'll be doing it for you right so let us say the very first question is what is port number of ssh so guys ssh is known as secure shell right this is a protocol using which we take access of remote server by default this particular protocol works on port number 22 this can be modified right so now when it comes to like uh, the port number of ssh so we can run a command net start hyphen t u n l b okay the command is not found great so it means we are going to get a chance to uninstall it and to install this particular system so guys if the particular command net start is not found in your operating system you can you you can easily install it with the command yum install yum is a particular software manager for red hat operating system if you are working with ubuntu you can use apt command apt or apt get the remaining syntax remains same like apt des get we can define here like apt des get install net des tools this is the particular command for ubuntu but as we are working with red hat operating system so we have to work here with the particular command known as yum yellow dog update modifier this is the full form of yum but yes in a nutshell you can understand that this is a package manager for red hat operating system so yes we are going to install it net tool is the package right this is installed now we can use t u n l p t u n l p this is the particular command which we can use in order to figure out that what is the port number of ssh so guys if you read this particular line which is highlighted right now so port number 22 listening on this particular local port right and this is the program name this is the pid this is state listen right so now uh, when we are talking about net shut command so let us try to explore a little more about it so what are these options so guys if i remove this p so guys what we are going to see here everything remains same but the particular pid and the particular program name is not visible so in case if you want to see this particular thing along with your output you will have to define here p option if we remove l so guys we are going to see every state we are going to see everything here like we are seeing a process id as well program name as well but the connection state is earlier, earlier like earlier it was listen state but right now it is showing established time wait so maybe like any other state of a process it is going it, uh, the particular port number it is going to show but it will not show the listen state right so let's l let's add l here now n what does it this mean so guys see so this is going to print information like same information which is being printed here but if you see here the particular port numbers this is showing in like not in numeric value this is not showing in numeric value here it like it is showing here local host right so it converts the value into numeric value now the very next thing here is u u for udp if we add u it is going to print the particular open connection for tcp as well as for udp right if i define if i remove here this one so it is going to show all the unique all the unix unique ports right so whether it is for tcp udp it does not define the protocol it is going to show like uh, like protocol only that is unix right so this sort of information we can fetch here if we define t uh, t and u p is repeated twice so we can see here it is showing now in this case t u n l p t u n l p these are the particular switches which we can use here in order to see a so very clean output of this particular process so the main question remains same what is the port number of ssh so that is 
I guess I make myself clear here in order to make you guys understand. Those who are new, in fact, it will be really easy for them as well to understand this. Now, guys, what is the main configuration file of SSH? So, yes. So, so the main, con like the command here is SSH, right? If we run this particular command, it is going to work. We will run a command which SSH. It is going to show this particular path of this particular command. Now, guys, in order to identify like how many files are available related to this particular software. So there is a backtracking mechanism for doing it and how we are going to do it, guys. So first of all, what we are going to do, we will run a command RPM, Red Hat Package Manager. Then after QF, query and for the file, this one. So now, guys, we are going to see like what particular package is responsible for this. It means this particular package is responsible if we want to understand that what are the particular files which are created by this RPM. So we can run the same command once again, RPM dash QL query and for list files. So guys, if you see here, like etc, ssh, ssh underscore config, ssh underscore config dot D, we have SCP command, SFTP, ssh, ssh add, agent, ssh copy ID and key scan. So guys, these are the particular commands which are provided by this particular server this particular software which is known as or you can call it package open ssh desk client but guys when we are talking about server so we talked about ssh so ssh is a client as well as server so right now we in, we tend to know about the particular configuration of ssh server so we can figure it out like rpm qa q for query a for all we will grab here ssh right so guys, we are going to see there is a particular package known as as open SSH dash server. So we are trying to know about the particular files which are created by this particular uh, package RPM dash QL and this particular package. So if you see here, so like etc pam dot d sshd etc ssh sshd underscore config. So guys, if someone is interested in knowing like what is the main configuration file of your SSH server. So the main SSH client is SSH underscore config and if it is server, it is SSH D underscore config. These are two main configuration file for this server. So we are going to modify this now. So yes, guys, we can come into it. And guys, if someone is going to ask you what is main configuration file, so answer is just before you. And if you focus on next question, so like we have covered this one, we have covered this one. And now we are talking about this one, how to change port number of SSH. So guys, yes. We will have to define here the particular port number, whatever we want. Let us say 2022 to a 2200, whatever, whatever port number you want. We will just do a simple thing. System CTL reload SSHD. That's it. Now, if we run the same command again, like netstat com, netstat command, then we are going to see how oh, that has stopped working. But why did it stop working? Let me see that. Get slash etc uh, where log. Okay, let me show that. Let me check the status first because currently I'm logged into this particular system, so I can troubleshoot as well. You not to worry. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to first of all check the logs. Get slash etc uh, where log and sshd. Oh, that is ssh where log secure this is the particular log we are going to see so this particular port number is not able to bind we are not able to set the particular port number this is permission denied it means obviously some sc linux permission should be creating a particular problem whenever we are trying to set up the particular port number and the particular port number is being bind with sshd service so let us see the particular command to check SC Linux status here is uh, set enforce. So it is showing 0 or 1. We can check the status of it. Get enforce command. So this is enforcing. So, guys, we need to set 0. And now, once again, we are going to reload the command. When not reload, we will have to start it because a service can be reloaded only then if it is running. Mm 
we will need to wait for a while this is starting the services because we have just disabled the AC Linux security enhanced Linux we have disabled it netstat t unlp so yes guys right now we can see that SSH service is running on port number 2200 so if we need to modify the port number so guys first of all we need to disable SSH Linux or we need to set in into enforcing like uh, into permissive mode or we need to enable some AC Linux special context are there we will discuss that in upcoming sessions or maybe within some other video so like how do we whitelist a particular port number so AC manage is the command for that uh, we will discuss sometime later on so this is the main configuration file and this is how we can change the port number of SSH guys I really did not want to have a sort of cut in this so what I'm going to do here is we are going to uh, say this now how to block SSH access for a single user so a scenario would be given to let us say there are multiple users created user add Tom let us say user add Harry user add let, let us say Ram user add Ravi right so these users are there so now if I want that user Ram or maybe user Harry should not be able to do SSH so how we can do that etc SSH SSD underscore config file and we will go to bottom of this and we can add an entry here deny users and after that we can define here only one thing that is Harry Uh, there is some uh, like uh, so we have modified this particular like etc ssh ssh dns config is the file and once we reload the service once again we are going to reload that is it now user harry will not be able to do ssh and why is that so guys because if you see once again we have denied deny users within this particular configuration file if number of users are going to be more so we can define a space separated name here once you reload the file that is it you are done so we have seen now what like what are the type of files in Linux operating system so guys there are seven type of files like it could be regular that will begin with this dash it would be a dot D begin with the uh, D stands for directory let me show you that if, if, we are, if I run a command ll slash dev so it is going to show me multiple type of files like first of all it is going to see it means corrected the files are here directory files are here directories are a special kind of files which holds the metadata of other files and folders that is the major difference here moreover when we are talking about this particular uh, uh, l l stands for link it means link file is there this is pointing to some other file this is shortcut like you can call that soft link or shortcut you can give it a name now if you see here we have another type of file like init ctl so this is also showing here as link now if we talk about log so this is showing in a different color and uh, this one is showing here in different color so what we are going to do guys here so we will see so it is showing here as as for socket so this is socket file and if i go back and i try to show you some other thing here which is run init ctl so guys it is going to list some other system which is known as p here p for pipes moreover you can see here b this is for block file so overall there are seven type of files seven type of files are there like first of all it is regular file it is dry directory link character block sockets and pipes so the guys these are the main type of files which we have in linux operating system right so the, uh, that answers the questions then after we have here difference between file and directory I have just explained so files are used to store data wherein directory can hold the information of other files and folders right moreover guys if we go in a little more, de more depth of this we can go in such less time directory I can create a file touch abc that is created mkdir let us say uh, test I have created two, two files here ll-lrth if I run l R E H. So yes, guys. If you see here, and I I for I node. So guys, if you see, so this particular has a particular default size of six byte. 
why why it is so because it contains the metadata wherein like there is no other data inside this particular directory because we have just created it but yes that contains some different uh, like uh, size of this particular empty directory because it holds some metadata okay that is why it contains some size now next question here is how to check free space on linux operating system so guys the command here is df hyphen capital t and a small h so how we are going to check it so guys there is a particular directory which is mounted on slash there is a particular file system that is known as slash dev slash x vda2 right now it is going to show like file system type because we have used a capital t option that is why we are able to see the type if we remove this option we shall not be able to see the type option rest of the data is going to remain same this is used this is free this is percentage and this is the mount point this is how guys we check the particular uh, size of a file system on linux operating system now how to check size of files and folders on a server that is very frequently asked question guys let us say if i go in such as etc now there are some other files and folders if you see here now i need to identify what are the what is what is the size of files and folders on this particular operating system within this directory so i'll run a command du hyphen sh i'll place here asterisk so guys all the files and folders whatever are available here the size will be displayed now if there is a requirement like let us say a person is going to ask you some customized question that i want to identify top 10 direct top 10 directories or files which are consuming most of disk space on this server how we are going to do that guys so we will place a command like sort so it will sort down the particular thing right so but in which order like you will have to figure it out like which order it is going to figure out so obviously like this and ascending order it is going to show right then after if you want to reverse it like hyphen r n we, we can define that here so the particular directory which are consuming most of disk space will be placed on the top right guys so this is how we can figure out like what are the directory which are consuming most of disk space now if someone is going to ask you that i want to see only 10 directories so guys once again we will place a pipe and we can define here head so it will print only 10 directories which are consuming most of disk space inside a folder so it could be a file or it could be directory as well based on the particular use case like what we are going to define here for example if i create here a file of maybe 500 mb let us say f allocate hyphen l let us say size is going to be 100 mb and the name is going to be let us say demo file file is created here if i run the same command again okay this is showing directories only where have i created that let me check that once again this is going to short it directories are available here okay see it is showing over here right so top most is file space consuming that is showing here right we can define that here maybe we can define head so like that particular hyphen rn we can use here and, and that will display the list okay now, now how to check port on a server so yes guys we have discussed about net state command now if we need to identify the port number on a remote server then how we are going to do that so guys for that we are going to do only one thing there will be a command known as nmap if it is uh, obviously it is not available m install nmap minus y So nmap command is installed here guys. Now I'm going to run a command nmap hyphen capital A uh, like a dot a dot a dot eight. Google like Google DNS I would like to scan. So nmap command is spelling is mistake. That is my bad. Nmap, yes. So guys, this command is going to scan the particular open ports on a remote server. Obviously, I'm not going to run this particular command fully because it is going to take more than one minute. So I would not like to spend a lot of time. You can try it yourself. If you face an issue, I'll be there to help you. So the particular command which we have executed, like how to check open port on a remote server, this is how we can do that. Okay. What is the difference between the public and private IP address? Very easy question, guys. So the difference here is 
So the, the main difference here is guys, public IP addresses are used to access internet. Wherein if we talk about private IP addresses, so private IP addresses are configured in uh, your intranetwork, like on your LAN, wherever you want to communicate within a simple network. So in that case, you can use your private IP address. Moreover, public IP addresses are paid, I, pub, uh, private IP addresses are free. In order to access internet on your private IP address, we need to configure a Wi-Fi router, maybe a netting device, maybe a router, switch or something like where from we will be using internet connection towards our uh, like laptop, desktop or maybe a server or we can use some proxies, right? So guys, these were the questions which I wanted to discuss, discuss within this particular session. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this particular session. Thank you so very much for listening. Uh, I'll create another video, video for remaining questions and, and I'll definitely share the answers of these questions as well. Thank you so very much. Have a good time and happy learning guys.